Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth video in this OpenCV Python tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about colors, how to convert between different colors, and then also how we can extract just one color from our image. So I actually have a Rubik's cube here that has a bunch of different colors on it. So I'm going to show you using this in our webcam here, how we can only display, say, the blue face of this Rubik's cube. Now, of course, this would work with orange, yellow, green, uh, red, all of that. Uh, but we're just going to do with blue for this. So what we need to do, actually, let me change this. This shouldn't say HSV. This is a little bit of a spoiler of what we're going to need to do here. Uh, but I have some code here, tutorial five. We've already seen what this code looks like and what it does. It just displays the basic webcam image onto the screen. What I want to do now, though, is I want to actually convert this frame into an HSV color scheme. So we have a bunch of different colors, right? There's a bunch of different ways to represent colors. We have RGB, we have BGR, and we have HSV. Now, HSV stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. Don't ask me why they put a V there. So lightness and brightness, kind of same thing. I believe that stands for visibility, maybe, but I don't know. The acronym really means, um, what do you call it? Hue, saturation, and lightness slash brightness. So we want to convert our BGR image into HSV. Now, the reason we need to do that is because the method we're going to use here to extract an image uh, or to extract a color story from the image requires an HSV image. So that means that all of our colors need to be in HSV and uh, we need to convert the image to HSV color. So to do that, we're going to say HSV is equal to and then we're going to say CV2.CVT color. Inside of here, I'm going to pass the image I want to convert, which is frame. And then I'm going to say CV2 dot and then color underscore, and then what the conversion is that I want to do. So in this case, I want to go from BGR to, and then not gray, but to HSV. So this will now take our image. It will take those RGB or sorry, BGR pixel values and convert them into hue, saturation, and lightness. So all of our pixels will now be represented like that. So just to show you what this actually does, let's display this HSV image. And you're going to notice it looks a lot different than our standard BGR image. So let's display this and I will be back as it shows up. So you can see this looks a little bit different than our standard image. The reason it looks like this is because we are trying to display our HSV uh, colored image as a BGR image. So the pixels are being read kind of in a weird fashion where it's not interpreting them as HSV values. It's interpreting them as BGR values. And so it's showing us all these weird colors. But anyways, that is what the HSV image looks like. Let's quit. All right, let me reactivate the webcam here. And now what we need to do is we need to define the colors that we actually want to extract from this image. So we now have the HSV image. We now need to pick a lower bound and an upper bound for the color or the pixels that we want to extract. So we need to define two HSV color values, one for the lower, one for the upper, and then any pixels in that range of colors will be displayed. So I'm going to say lower underscore blue is equal to, and then here we're going to say NP dot array. We need to use a NumPy array because that's just what we need to pass uh, for these CV2 uh, functions. And then inside of here, we're going to put some values that is an HSV color. Now, we're also going to say upper underscore blue equals NP dot array. And then again, we're going to put an HSV color value. Now, I understand that you probably don't know how to pick an HSV color value. I don't know how off the top of my head to just pick the hue, saturation and lightness to make, say, the color light blue and the color dark blue. I have no idea how to do that. So how do you do that? Well, you can just go to the Internet and search up HSV color picker and you can kind of mess with the wheel and it will just give you the values or you can use what we just used here. So CV, CV2 dot CV2 color and you can convert one individual pixel to an HSV color. So let's say I want to have, you know, like a dark blue or something. Well, what I can do is the following. I can take my CV2 dot CV2 color function. I'm just going to write it at the bottom of uh, my code here because I'm not actually going to use this. And what I would do is instead of passing a frame, I would pass one pixel. But the catch here is that CV2 dot CV2 color expects an image that has a specific shape. It wants a shape where you have rows, columns and channels. So instead of passing just one color here, instead of passing a BGR color, say like 25500, which would be blue because we have completely blue here, we can't just pass this. We actually need to pass a NumPy array that looks like this. So essentially an image that is one by one has one pixel inside of it. And then what we can do is, well, we can just, you know, extract that one pixel. So hopefully that makes sense. But this does not accept just a list, just one list. It needs an image. 
So you have to kind of create an image that has one pixel. You do that by just pretty much having three sets of uh, bra brackets or braces, whatever you want to call them like that. So I'm going to say that my color, and we'll say the BGR underscore color is equal to, and then a NP dot array. And inside of here, we'll just have three set of brackets and whatever color. So two, five, zero, zero. So now what I can do is I can pass my BGR underscore color. And then if I were to print out this value here, and I won't do this, but if I were to print this out, it would then give me another array that looks something like this. We would have three brackets, then we would have whatever the HSV values are inside of these brackets. So if you wanted to access just the one pixel or just the one color, then you could do, uh, let's just call this X. So we'll say X is equal to that. You want to access again, just that one pixel. You would say X at zero, zero, and that would give you the one pixel. Anyways, that's all you need to know to convert a color. I won't show you this because I've already picked the colors that we need. But if you do want to convert your own colors, this is kind of the way to do it. Just follow these three lines of code right here. OK, so now that we have that, let's pick our lower blue and upper blue. Now, I got these values actually from the tutorial from OpenCV, which I will link in the description. But these are like kind of a lighter blue and a darker blue. So I'm going to say 110. Then this is going to be 50 and then 50. So that will be our lighter blue. And then we'll have 130, 255, 255. And that will be our uh, darker blue, I believe. Yeah, that should be our darker blue. Anyways, again, you just look at the color picker to see what these colors actually look like. Now that we have our lower blue and our upper blue, what I'm going to do is create what's called a mask. So a mask is kind of a portion of an image or a part of an image or a part of a frame. So I'm going to say mask is equal to and then CV2 dot in range like that. We're going to pass the image. So this image uh, that we want to perform this on is our HSV image like that. Then we're going to pass our lower blue and our upper blue. Now, what this is going to do is return to us a new image or a new mask of an image that essentially has only the blue pixels existing. So all of the pixels that are not blue are just going to be blacked out. So they're going to be zero, zero, zero. But any pixels that are in this range of blue that we had here will stay as they were before. So we will continue in one second, but I need to quickly thank the sponsor of this video and this series, which is Algo Expert. Algo Expert is the best platform to use when preparing for your software engineering coding interviews. They have over 125 coding interview questions on the platform, which are specifically picked to make sure that you are studying the best questions and not wasting your time. So with that said, check out Algo Expert from the link in the description and use the code tech with Tim for a discount on the platform. All right. So now that we have our mask, what we need to do is actually use this mask. So I'm actually going to apply this mask to our original image. So the way a mask typically works is it tells you which areas of the image you should keep. So if you were to draw a mask over top, like a rectangular mask, you may see this in editing software, for example, over top of a video, over top of an image, it's only going to keep the part of that image that the mask covers. So this is the exact same thing here. This mask uh, that's returned from CV2 in range is just going to tell us which pixels we should keep and which ones we shouldn't. It's as simple as that. It tells us which pixels are in the range of this lower blue and upper blue. So we're going to take this mask. We're kind of going to imaginarily apply it to our image, and we're going to only keep the pixels in our original image that match with this mask. So we'll compare pixel by pixel. And if the mask tells us, hey, this pixel was actually blue, then we're going to keep it. If it's not blue, we're going to turn it to black. So that's what this next line that I'm about to write is going to do. We're going to say result is equal to then CB2 dot and then bit wise. And we'll discuss what this means in a second. We're going to pass our frame, our frame and our mask equal to mask. Now, the reason we have we're using bitwise and here, there's, there's other ways to do this, but this logically makes sense is a bitwise and is the following. If I have a one and a one, the and returns a one. If I have a zero and a one, it returns a zero. If I have a one and a zero, it returns a zero. If I have a zero and a zero, it returns a zero. So the only situation where you're going to get a one is if you have one and one. Now, this is confusing to understand because we're dealing with bits and we're dealing with pixels and all this stuff. But essentially, this bitwise and typically will take two images. It will take a source image and a second source image, and it will blend them together using this mask. So it will bitwise and these two images together, and then it will use this mask as kind of 
a function to determine whether or not it should keep this pixel. Now, in our case, we only have one image. We don't want to blend two images together. We just want one image where we're just going to remove all of the pixels that are not blue. So we're going to pass the same image twice. Uh, I know it's confusing, but you just pass the same image twice because you need source one and source two. And well, they're equal to the same thing. And then we pass our mask, which is going to do what I discussed. Now, I would recommend you look this up if you want to learn about this more in depth. But you can imagine that all we're doing is we're comparing the bits from our mask to the bits in our image. And if this returns a one, so if the mask told us, hey, there is a blue pixel here, then we keep that pixel. If it doesn't, then we don't keep it. So now all we have to do that we have that bitwise end is we just need to show our result. All right. So you can see it's kind of this granular, weird, whatever image where you don't really see anything. And now as soon as I pop this up, uh, it's kind of showing it. You can kind of see the blue popping up even on my shirt, but not quite. So let me change the uh, the filter here for this blue and let me see if I can actually get this to appear. OK, so I just messed with the uh, the values here for the upper and lower bound. I look hilarious in this. You can see this. Uh, we have 90, 50, 50, 130, 255, 255. Now, clearly, this isn't just showing blue, but I just want to show you that it is, you know, it's picking up this blue. If I change this to the other side, this side is actually yellow. It's not showing it. If I change this to the turquoise side, we're getting that because that's in the color range and turquoise. Sorry, this is green. I don't know why this is showing up kind of turquoise. -y. Uh, anyways, you get the idea. And then this is the black side of the Rubik's Cube. This is the red side of the Rubik's Cube, which you obviously can't see. And then we'll go back to blue here and you can see that this is the blue. So this isn't working <laughs> precisely. In fact, it's showing us the white and it's showing us the black. You can see like the whites of my eyes, which again looks hilarious. Uh, but you just have to mess with these color values and whatever pixels are in this range. Again, it's going to show you those. So again, I don't really know why it's showing the gray and the black. I think I, ju I just have this range wrong. We just have to mess with it. But that is how you extract a color from an image. I thought this was cool. Maybe that you guys don't find this that interesting. Uh, but if you do this correctly, then you actually can extract the right color from an image. So let me reactivate this here. I don't have enough time to go through and you know fine tune all of these values, but you just have to go to an HSV color picker and pick kind of a light blue and then a darker blue, create this proper range, and then it should hopefully show you that. So anyways, that's actually all I wanted to show you. I know this wasn't a ton, but this kind of went over what a mask is, right? It showed us how we can actually do a bitwise and and extract parts of the image. And now let me just show you actually what the mask looks like itself and what our HSV image looks like. Well, we actually we already looked at the HSV image, but let's look at just the mask. So I'm going to pop up. Uh, oh, let's go call this mask here and we'll pop up the result as well as the mask. OK, so let me deactivate this. Let's rerun this and let's see what we get. So you can see we have our mask. This is on the left hand side of the screen. We have our frame or we have our actual uh, resulting image on the right hand side of the screen. And notice our mask is all zeros and ones, right? So all of the white in our mask is what's showing up on our uh, resulting image on the right hand side here. So that's kind of the way this mask works. It's either zero or one. Any of the pixels that are in the range get a one. Any of the pixels that are not in the range get a zero. So that is why here, like you can see the black, like my hand, for example, uh, is not showing up because obviously my hand is white. And then all of the blue, including all these other colors and you know the Rubik's Cube here now shows up as white on the mask. And then in the actual frame, it shows us the real color. So that's how the bitwise and worked. And that's what I was trying to explain. So anyways, let's close these by hitting Q. Let me reactivate this webcam just to say that if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another OpenCV tutorial.